Welcome back to Grandma Olivia's Corner. I will be reading Alvin and the Chipmunks, Chipwrecked. Too cool for rules. The chipmunks and the chipettes were going on a vacation cruise. They were all excited, but no one was more excited than Alvin. Alvin wanted to have fun. Alvin always wants to have fun. He wanted to go parasailing, but Dave said he was too young. Doesn't that get on your nerves when your parents tell you that you're too young for something? We'll have fun as a family, Dave said, but with some rules, don't worry, replied Alvin. Rules is my middle name. But Alvin wasted no time getting into trouble. He squirted sunscreen on the deck, causing Dave to slip. Simon and Theodore were worried. They thought Alvin was going to get them all in trouble again. The trip had barely begun. Dave was already yelling at Alvin. Alvin! Before bed, Dave reminded Alvin that he had promised to follow the rules. The chickmunks had to stay in their room while Dave had dinner with the ship's captain. Alvin promised to behave. Yeah, right. While Dave was out, Theodore watched a movie. Simon decided to read. The Chipettes rehearsed their moves, but Alvin had other plans. He put on a tuxedo and went to the casino. How did Alvin get a casino? How did Alvin get a tuxedo? Simon followed Alvin to the casino. He tried to stop Alvin, but Alvin just wanted to have fun. Alvin even met a girl. I'm not that young, he said. I'm in a casino way past my bedtime. No one tells me what to do. Dave found Alvin and Simon and dragged them out of the casino. You are in a lot of trouble, hollered Dave. Do we have to walk the plank, asked Alvin. There's no plank, replied Dave. But if you disobey me again, we will be kicked off the ship. The next day, Dave took a nap while the chipmunks played shuffleboard. It wasn't much fun. It's 10% shuffle and 90% board, Simon said. Then Alvin had an idea. He borrowed a boy's kite, but the wind was too strong. The chipmunks and the chipettes tried to help, but instead they all soared into the sky. The chipmunks and the chipettes flew over the ocean and landed on a tiny island. Stranded on the island, they waited to be rescued. Without Dave to help, even Alvin was worried. Oh boy. That night, Simon built a fire but Theodore put it out by mistake. They all slept through a cold night. Then a spider bit Simon. Its venom changed Simon into a dairy dude named Simone. Simone wouldn't help Alvin collect wood to build a shelter. He danced in the rain instead. Alvin tried to get Simone to stop doing dangerous things. Careful, cried Alvin. 
you could get hurt. Simone, you sound like Dave, said Brittany. If Alvin couldn't be the fun one, he would be the responsible one. He and Brittany built an amazing shelter. I know why Dave hasn't come, said Alvin. He's not looking. Why wouldn't he, asked Brittany. I drive him crazy, Alvin said. What Alvin didn't know was that Dave was on his way. Then the island's volcano rumbled and released hot smoke. That's why the water is so hot. It's being heated by an underground magma chambers, Brittany said. How do you know that? Jeanette asked. The place where I get my nails done always has the science channel on, Brittany said. Alvin was giving everyone orders to get them all safely off the island. Out of the jungle, Dave appeared. What can I do to help? asked Dave. Alvin burst into tears. I thought you weren't looking for us because I'm such a pain, Alvin cried. You are a pain, replied Dave. But I'd come no matter what. They escaped the island just as the volcano erupted. I want to say I'm sorry for ruining our vacation, Alvin said. Dave smiled, impressed, and pointed at the helicopter above. I hope you enjoyed this reading of Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwreck. Why don't you check out the movie and see if you can find any differences between the book and the movie. Bye-bye for now.